Good afternoon. This is Larry McMullen with the stock market update on Monday, August 21st, after the market has closed. So last week we saw the S&P continue its downtrend. It got all the way down to almost 43.30, which is our major support level. It did bounce off of there on Friday, and then uh, today it started down again, but then bounced even higher. So, so far that 43.30 support is holding. Uh, we expect that to be uh, a good test of the market. If it holds, uh, the bull uh, trend is still in place. But if the 43.30 is violated, then I think we're going to have uh, more problems coming up, perhaps through uh, October. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we are now below the minus four standard deviation uh, Bollinger Band. Uh, so that indicates that the market is oversold, at least the index chart is oversold. And it's a possibility, but not a certainty, that the McMillan Volatility Band buy signal will be forthcoming soon, but not yet. So we'll keep you up to date on um, that factor. The equity-only put call ratios are extremely uh, heavy on the put buying, and so they're moving higher, and that's bearish. Uh, they remain on sell signals, and they will continue to remain on sell signals until they roll over and uh, begin to decline. That doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon. Breadth, on the other hand, got extremely oversold with a very negative um, breadth. I believe it was like 13 out of 14 days. Breadth was negative up through Friday and today. Uh, so the breadth oscillators are still on sell signals. They were so deeply oversold that they can't dig themselves out of that condition and roll right over to a buy signal yet. But uh, at least they're improving a little right now. But they're still on sell signals as of uh, this moment. New York Stock Exchange new lows have exceeded new highs for the last tra uh, five trading days. So that has uh, <clears throat> terminated the buy signal that had existed from this indicator dating all the way back to March. So right now that indicator is neutral. Uh, VIX has really not advanced much. It's advanced a little. Uh, we have a VIX a spike peak buy signal in place. On Friday, uh, VIX did get all the way up to where it's high, touched the declining 200-day moving average of VIX, but then it fell back from there. So if it were to close above the 200-day moving average, that would um, stop out the longer-term trend of VIX buy signal. But right now, that buy signal, that long-term buy signal is still in effect, just as the long-term chart of the S&P is still bullish as long as we're holding above 43.30. So the uh, construct of volatility derivatives, that's also positive. Uh, September VIX futures are now the front month. But as long as the term structure continues to slope upwards, uh, that should be okay for stocks. So we still have a mixed picture. We're holding a some, somewhat slightly bullish core position based on the uh, chart of the S&P, and we are trading these other indicators around that. So I invite you to visit our website, uh, take a look at our uh, other newsletters where we keep up to date with these indicators daily. And meanwhile, have a great week trading.